All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praise to Abinawa, Yahweh, by Shema, Shaka, Yahweh, by Shema, Kakadash, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of the Heavenly Son, through His glory, His Holy Spirit, God and Jesus Christ, through the Spirit of Wisdom, man. Peace and blessings to all the beloved ones baptized in this New Testament for the remission of sins, man, because that's what it's about. It's about having what? Your sins pardoned, your sins forgiven, your sins covered, right? And it starts with what? The blood of the lamb, man. All right. It starts with the blood of the lamb and uh, and uh, keeping his commandments, man. Right. Which what? We all definitely fall short. All right. So this is Ecclesiastes chapter one, verse 26. Ecclesiastes chapter one and verse 26. And it reads, if thou desire... No, I desire is lust. <laughs> like, <laughs> if thou desire wisdom, man, this is your wisdom in the sight of the nations, man. Do your homework, baby. If thou desire wisdom, right? If you desire wisdom, what? Keep the commandments. No, forget them. Keep the commandments. No, I say you don't have to deal with them anymore. Keep the commandments abandon them keep the commandments do what keep the commandments if thou desire wisdom do what keep the commandments do your own damn thing keep the commandments right so the scriptures is, is the same man all right. The scriptures tell you this is the patience of the saints, man. The patience of the saints ain't just faith alone, man. It's works involved with that faith. And the works is what? Keeping the God's commandment, man. Here is the patience of the saints, man. Here are they that what? Have the faith of the Mashiach and keep his commandments, man. That's in Revelations, man. Blessed are they that keep his commandments. That they may have right to the tree of life, man. So... Showing you it's not just uh, believing in the Messiah uh, got killed alone. Because guess what? Even the devils know the Messiah was killed, bro. Satan is know the Lord was crucified. Everybody knows the Lord was crucified. Even people in other religions know the Lord was crucified. So it's not just that you know the Lord was crucified. Because if that's all you got to do, then that means the other nations can be saved too. And the devil can be saved. Because they all know the Lord was crucified, man. All right, what set us apart from the other nations is the commandments, man. And that's why the Lord made a covenant with us, because that's what set us apart. All right? So the scriptures tell you if you desire wisdom, keep the commandments, man. Okay? This is your wisdom in the sight of the nations. Right? So it says if thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments, man. All right? So it's about keeping God's commandments, man, and believing on his son. Right, that's the patience of the saints, man. Because guess what? Even what? Masons, Masons, Masons believe the Lord died. Masons believe the Lord died. So if it's all only just about believing the Lord died, then what? We need to stop troubling the Masons, man. Don't do no rebuke videos on the Masons. Don't do no rebuke videos on GMS either. Don't even rebuke GMS. Because GMS believe the Messiah died. So it's not about just believing the Messiah died, man. It's about keeping his commandments too, man. All right? Even the Lord Yahweh Shah said that in the new covenant, if you love me, do what? Keep my commandments, man. So if you desire wisdom, the scriptures tell you to keep the commandments, man. If, if you want wisdom. But if you don't want wisdom, then hey, just, just, just believe that the Lord existed, man. All right? <laughs> Even scientists believe the Lord existed, man. They'll scientifically, scientifically break down how they believe he existed. So we have to keep the most highest commandments, man. <clears throat> the Lord Yahweh Shah tell you it's going to be people that believe he existed, that believe they were his disciples and everything, and still get told to depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, ye promoters of sin, man. All right? So it's not just knowing he existed and knowing he got crucified. It's not just that, because what Judas believed that and Judas was still what condemned. See that? 
So you have to, you have to uh, bring forth fruit, meat worth of repentance, man. The scripture says the fruit of the righteous is the tree of life, man. The fruit of the wicked is sin, man. The Lord gave us two options on what the fruit is. The fruit of the righteous is the what? Tree of life. The fruit of the wicked is the sin. So that's why Paul told us and warned us in the new covenant, if we sin willfully, there remaineth no more sacrifice sin. So, yeah, man, we're going to fall short. And that's where the Lord covers you at when you fall short and you're not sinning intentionally. But when you're sinning intentionally and you promote sin, the Lord will tell you to depart from him when he returns. So uh, be careful, beloved ones. So it says, if thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments and the Lord shall give her unto thee. All right. So the Lord will give us uh, wisdom when we keep his commandments, man. So it's crystal clear what the Lord wants us to keep his commandments, man. Okay. And what, when we get back to the homeland, what do you think we're going back to the homeland to do? What do you, beloveds, think we're going back to the homeland to do? What are we going to do in the homeland? Huh? What's the point of going back to the homeland if it ain't no law? See that? We might as well stay where the hell we at. <laughs> we might as well stay where the hell you at and not even ever plan on going back to the homeland then if there's no, no laws, man. We don't have any more heritage. Why the hell would we go back to the homeland if we don't have a heritage? Why even call ourselves Hebrew Israelites if we don't have Israelite heritage, man? Hmm? If there's no more Israelite heritage and the law is all done away with, what's the point of calling yourself an Israelite? We should just stick to being Gentiles and Greeks. Why do we even use Hebrew names then if that's the case? Showing you what? We still got a heritage, man. And the scriptures tell us to keep the commandments, and the Lord shall give her unto thee, man, the wisdom, all right, which that's how the Lord increase you and give you breakdowns and revelations, man, this is why when you sin and willfully against the Lord, he's not giving you no revelations, man, you might read one scripture and think you got something, man, but really, man, you don't got it, because what, you breaking the Lord's law willfully, man, the Lord's not going to give uh, what is holy unto dogs, man, all right, we can't be little doggies out here, man, so we have to repent, keep God's commandments, and uh, walk in righteousness, man. Be spiritual minded, okay? Well, to be spiritually minded, you have to keep the commandments, man. The law is spiritual, just, and good, man. There's no scripture that says law is sin or wickedness, man. So if law is just and holy, you're not going to do away with it. You don't do away with something that's just and holy. Do your homework on you not putting something away that's just and holy. So, Shalom.